Hey, hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this Easy Repro Automation Framework tutorial series, I will discuss about how to handle the date field. Then I will discuss about how to group your test scripts. Finally, I will talk about how to assign the priority for the test scripts. So let us move on to the our CRM application. We will discuss the scenario, then we will start automating that particular scenario in the user studio. So after logging into the application, CRM application, we'll go to the contacts, then we'll click on new. And after that, we will move on to the details tab. Then here you are seeing the birthday. So we will select the sum value. That means the sum date from this pop. -up. So let us do that. So I will go to the Visual Studio now. I will open the Easy Repro Tutorial class and I will simply copy the first method which we have implemented in previous classes. That's it guys. I will rename this test method name as Easy Repro Test 2. Then I will remove some of the code here which is related to the related to the text box lookup then drop down that's it okay so we have logged in logged in into the application and we have selected the CRM application then we have to click on the contacts then we are clicking on the new then we are switching into the details after switching into the details so we have to identify the this birthday field then after that we have to pass the value which value we wanted to send it to this particular text box let us inspect this object let's go up so if you see here if i hover my mouse on the due tag which has the id and followed by some number and here you are seeing the birth date and followed by some generic value so you need to copy this particular birth date and even which, which is highlighting the whole birthday as a field including the attribute and as well as the text box so you need to copy this birth date and simply you need to pass on to the one object called new date time control so you can pass this field name to this particular class that is a date time control so we have identified the object now then now we have to set the value so for setting the value so here I'm using value is equal to date time now so this will return me the today's date so if I wanted to select if you want if I wanted to select the thousand days back date so simply i will enter simply i will call to the one method called add days if i specify the positive number it will add the current day and plus whatever the days i have specified and if i specify it in negative so it will select the negative days that means the negative value that means if i specify thousand it will select the date thousand days back date All right so uh, finally i will assign this object to the Birth date variable. So we have the field is ready. That means we have identified the object and we are passing the values, right? So now, as I told before, XRM dot entity dot set value. This particular method is a overloaded method. So it is capable of accepting different types of values. So now we will pass the this particular object that's a date time control object to the set value. So that's it guys. So our script is ready. So let me summarize again once again. We have logged in into the application and we have selecting we are selecting the CRM application, then we are clicking on the contacts and then new button. Then we are switching on to the different tab, then we are identifying the birth date, birthday or birth date. In the UI, you are seeing the birthday. So we are identifying that particular element. Then we are passing that this particular value to the this field that is a birth date. So that's it, guys. Let's execute this script now. 
it is very easy guys so easy repro auto automation framework made a life easier for whoever testing the dynamics 365 crm application so it has a lot of reusable methods and uh, dynamically interactable when object is available so it has a very good features so no need to waste much time on implementing the methods or reusable methods all the methods are available in the easy repro automation framework If you see here, so it has clicked on the contacts, right? Then now it will click on the new button. Now it has clicked on the new button, then it will navigate to the details tab, right? It has entered some value in the birthday. If you see here, it has entered uh, 9 4 2020 guys. So that's it guys. So it has executed successfully. And if you go to the test explorer also, you can see that this got passed or test got passed. So this is how you can handle the text uh, date field, date fields, especially. So now I will discuss about how to assign the category. That means how, how to group your test cases. So what you need to do is after test method. So it is also attribute. You need to specify it as a test category. That means you can group your test cases. For example, this particular test case belong to the smoke testing. So you can specify the group name for this particular test. So like this, you can specify it, specify the multiple groups as well. So you can go to the test explorer and here also that particular group will be listed here. You can directly trigger that particular group for the execution. So let us rebuild this solution now. Sorry, uh, build the, sorry, build this particular solution. And if it is not working directly, you can rebuild the solution. So if you see here, so this is one of the group what we have created and that particular test is listed under the smoke testing. So similarly, you can assign the multiple group names. For example, I can mention it as a tester stock as a group name. I'll go to the test explorer, then I will build the solution. You see here, my group name is displayed. That is a tester stock. Again, this easy repro test to is belongs to the, this particular group also. So whenever there is a need or a demand, you can directly go ahead and trigger that particular suit for the execution, guys. So that's how it makes the life easier. So multiple group names also you can give, give to the any of the test script. So this is how you can manage your uh, test cases into the different different groups and uh, while executing it will be easier. So let us discuss one more attribute called priority. You can assign the priority for your test cases. So priority always starts with the zero. And you can specify one, two, so however you want. So that's it. You can go to the test explorer. So based on the priority also, you can see the group, group, grouping here. That means here we have selected, uh, we have grouped it. So based on the priority number also, you can see your test cases in this test explorer. If I rebuild this solution, let me clean it once and rebuild the solution. That's it guys. So here you can see right priority zero. There is a one test case, right? That easy repro test two is belong to the one test zero. So you can divide your test cases based on the need. You can go ahead and execute your test scripts guys. So that's all I have in this session. So we have covered how to deal with the uh, uh, date fields and how to assign the category for the test cases. Finally, we have discussed how to assign the priority for the test cases. So if you have any questions, you can comment in the comment section.
and click on like button if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.